Even for a fleeting moment, as the toll of the bell signifies the end of her chemo treatments, Danielle Bixby and her family are all smiles. <laughs> Days later, they would celebrate this step with her other family, Oregon Ducks Volleyball. Team Impact reached out to our athletic department, so they reached out to us and said, would you be interested? And that was a no-brainer for us to get involved. They told us about Danielle, and we were really excited. So the day we first met, they paired me with the team, and then I went to go see them, and then we celebrated me being on the team by getting ice cream. Joining the team, which happened in conjunction with nonprofit Team Impact, came at a very welcome time after difficult first months of treatment. We weren't even home for 30 minutes and from Portland to here and about 30 minutes being home she said I really want to die. I'm ready to go see the angels. And it's hard. I mean how do you explain to your five and two year old that their auntie has, auntie has cancer. I mean, it's just not something not something anybody wants to say. But instead of thinking of this as just a photo op Oregon volleyball stepped into Danielle's life in a huge way. There was a Tuesday that she was really sick at chemo and I was texting Erica in August. I remember getting that text um, and she sent a picture with her passed out in her little wagon too. And she uh, could not stop throwing up. And it was so disheartening and so I had everybody in each individual room like, all right, make a video for Danielle and we're gonna send it to her. But I love and miss you and you're kicking treatment butt right now. I know how sick she was. I mean, it was the hardest chemo that we've gone through and all of a sudden a video would come through and the girl was like ear to ear grin so the fact that we can be there and support her by all means we need to like we need to do that once she, I mean we signed her to the team and our team especially is family the girls have really put a, a seed of joy in her that when someone's struggling with cancer or any illness they might not have the ducks stomp out cancer match against Arizona State celebrated their little duck while Danielle and her mother, Shannon, returned the favor. I was like, Danielle, Danielle, let's make dolls for all the girls. She's like running up the stairs, yeah, yeah, let's do it. The day that I gave them the dolls, do you remember that? They all, they were like so happy. Everybody cried with happy tears. She wrote individual notes to each girl on the team. Dear August, I love your buns and that you are so nice. Your hair is beautiful and amazing. Thank you for loving me. Love, Danielle. It just snapped us right back into it to understand that we can be disappointed, but there's so many bigger things out there, and this is the big thing that we're doing right now. Ringing that bell was a respite for all involved, but Duck players and coaches don't see their role ending here. It was just an overwhelming piece to know that they love her, and it, you can see how genuine it is. I've made a life-lasting connection with this kid, and to me, that's worth fighting for in my everyday life we are family and this has become a family now as long as she wants to stay around eugene she's always a part of our team you know um, again there are relationships that are being formed that are lifelong relationships just like with any teammate and nor does danielle they're really important to me and i want to fight harder than ever <laughs>